Hi Taurus, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope that you all are having a beautiful day today. I'm here to give you your general energy reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. And if you are not new, welcome back. I appreciate the love and support. I've already prayed and meditated over your energy, so we're just going to go ahead and tap right in, Taurus. Spirit angels, ancestors, guides, please protect me and my collective as I channel the messages for the sign of Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Note. Please return all negative energy back to sender, 10 million fold. And anybody out there showing me love, much love and light to you. If you would like a personal reading from me, if you'd like to donate to the channel, purchase any manifestation jewelry or artwork, the information will be in the description box below. So what is the messages? What are the messages for tourists? Some of you guys are dealing with the Aries Leo Sag. This person could work in a studio, make music, make beats, whatever the case may be. You're very frustrated with this person right now. This person finds you to be marriage material. You are wifey or husband material. Now, what I will say is that this person feels like you didn't show them enough love. Or this could be the way that you feel. You know, you may feel like this person didn't show you enough love. You wanted more understanding. I'm saying that this person wants understanding as well. They want to compromise, talk things out. They want to spend time with you and just be in your presence. This person loves the way that you feel in their arms. They love your smell. But I see new love here. So you all definitely could be manifesting a Libra. Gemini Aquarius someone that's very intelligent great communicator they operate very logically you could get bored with this person though I'm definitely seeing that could be a dead end date or you may realize that this person is not on the same page as you money looking good though but I don't see a lot of access here. Maybe this person has been closed off or they feel like you're closed off. It's crazy because I feel like this past connection was a pretty decent connection here. It was just that somebody wouldn't open up, you know? Somebody would not express their feelings. There were questions that were asked that never got answered. And it caused a lot of confusion. Made you feel real low. Or this could be this person. You know. I'm definitely saying that they want to talk to you though. They miss you. They're bored too. You know. They're running into situations that are not working out. Where they don't really see eye to eye with people. You know, they find themselves being disengaged on the dates that they're on. They feel like they're boring or they don't see eye to eye or they deal with people that are just show offs, but they don't understand them emotionally. This person wants to break the cycle of going back and forth with you. They definitely got a wake up call and they're wanting to be on the same page with you. This person is saying, stop giving up on me. They want you to stick it out with them. They want you to feel safe with them. Like you can open up and talk to them about anything. Like you can be yourself. You know? And this may be how you feel about your person. You put yourself wherever you may fit. But there's definitely a sense of... Somebody not feeling loved or not feeling like they can 
reach the other person in this connection. But still wanting to stick it out. A lot of hot and heavy sexual energy here. Somebody wants to spend a night with you. They want to cuddle with you. You know, they want to eat with you. They want to sex you. Yeah, for sure. Somebody's saying, can they come and grab your ass today? They miss touching you. I'm picking up a masculine energy that when he hugs you, he likes to rub his hands across your ass, you know? And you like it. You like it. Yeah, this is somebody that you wanted to marry, you know? But it's like until this person opens up. I do see a text message coming, though. <laughs> so you definitely may be receiving communication. And I'm seeing a situation going from being disconnected to kind of somebody wanting to come closer with you. Maybe wanting to make this step towards commitment with you. This person has multiple people that like them, you know? They're very attractive, very smart, very charming. This person has a mouthpiece. This is the type of person that likes to mind fuck you before they even touch you, you know? But... I don't know. It might be too late for this person because I see you're starting over. You know? <sighs> this person ran from their emotions. It frustrated you. They fell back when things got too close. You know? And it's like they're working on their issues, but you want them to come back healed. You know? Because you don't want to be closed off with this person. You're burnt out with that. You want things to be solid or you're closing the door. You don't want to guess how people are feeling about you. You want to know. You feel like it's too much work, you know, stretching yourself too thin. You already work a hard job or you are a business owner or whatever you have going on. You already work hard and you're just wanting to have some peace. I see you taking your power though, like the boss that you are, because this person was unsure about you, you know, yeah, that's what's going on here, but I do want to tell you that they're definitely going to reach out to you, or this is you reaching out to them, put yourself wherever you need to fit, but somebody misses the other person, they're frustrated because they're so used to talking to you regularly, and now they feel ghosted, you know? Like you're not giving them any attention. You're not feeding into this. And it's because you're not wanting to play around with this person, you know? You're not coming off your throne because this person's confused. They gamble with your heart. They ghost you. This is the reason why you're not putting the effort in. Even though you love this person. You care about them. If you were to tell me that you didn't love them, I would say that you were a damn lie. How about that? But it's like, this person plays the victim. They have a hard time with taking accountability. And if you're a feminine energy, that turns you off. You feel like that's so cowardly, you know? And if you're a masculine energy, it turns you off. You feel like it's so immature, like, you know? And you're not wanting to gamble. You don't play with people. Yeah. You're not being shallow, you know? You're not being shallow because you really care about this person. But what it is, is you're tired of hearing shit and not seeing it, you know? You're tired of not having progression, progression in this situation. Yeah, you're tired of the same shit different day. You, you're sick of it. You're over. You're burnt out. But I see you focusing you know, prioritizing, you're winning, you're celebrating, 
You're being rewarded. You got good karma here. You know. Wow. <laughs> this person definitely don't want to do this groupy shit no more. You know. They used to like this one, two, three, four shit at a time. Yeah. It's in reverse. Because they realize that they've been shallow. And this person has a lot of pride. So they feel really crappy at how they played with you. Because they gambled. They played around like you were some type of game or something. Ghosting you. You know? And you could know a lot of things when it comes to spirituality. Or you could be tapped in. Or this is the person that you're thinking about. But somebody hates that about you. Because it like takes some of their power away they feel like. Yeah because it's like you can't. Pretenders in reverse. This person can't pretend with you. You see right through them. And trust me they miss you. They're hooked. Trust me. Things ain't going well if they have moved on. Yeah moving on with somebody that make you unhappy. Right. You look stupid and miserable. Both of them. You know. Them and the person that they're dealing with both look dumb as hell and miserable as fuck. <laughs> it's a sad, sad situation over there, you know. That's why they still curious as to what you got going on. <laughs> it's quite funny, you know, how the cookie crumbled. This person was very cocky. You know, they thought they can just come back and do whatever they want, whenever they please, right? Ignore you, come back, have sex with you, right? Chill, get something to drink, ignore you, come back, you know? Like, that type of energy, you know? Just doing whatever they please. Stuck up. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. This person thought they were too good, like they shit didn't stink, you know? Little do they know, you're a boss. You're not worried. You're not competing. You're not chasing. You're not doing any of that. This person going to watch you. They're going to be jealous of you when you move on and you start over. They're going to come back and kiss your ass. Oh, it's a fact. You know, this person's up in your business. They can't stop watching and peeping. And talking like the prior and pff, cock blocking. Oh, yeah, they definitely don't want you to meet nobody else, you know. They don't even want to know, like, about you meeting somebody else, they don't even want to hear about that because, see, that's gonna prove how shitty they really are. <laughs> Storm warning, told you. You guys could be meeting a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or somebody with those aspects in their chart. Yeah, this person's going to have money. A bankroll. Great personality. Easy going, you know. Great sex. You guys are going to understand each other on a spiritual level. This person won't make you read between the, the lines and wonder all the time, right? You know. They're going to tell you. Because this is a boss. That's what they do. You know. That's what bosses do. Keep it real. Right. And they not for the whole community. You know. You don't have to go through all these crying ass. Weird energetic ass moments. Right. You don't have to go with this back and forth. Walking away. Coming back energy. This person knows that you wear a crown. You feel me? And they're going to treat you as such. You know? Some of you guys born April 27th, May 7th, May 18th. But this person threw your balance off. May 6th. Yeah. You got somebody that wants to build a, a solid connection with you. This person may want marriage. They want some type of contract with you. Yeah, this person's going to give you peace. They're going to make you feel rejuvenated. May 19th. Yeah, this person's going to make you feel rejuvenated. All right. 
what else to wrap this up for my beautiful and my handsome tourists? Hmm. All right, let's take. Yes. So this indecisive thing, being in their ego thing, got them left in the cold. You know, because you got the high priestess card. So your soulmate is coming. You are the hierophant. You know, but high priestess energy. You already know what's up. You see right through this person. You may not tell them everything you know, but trust me. You know, Pisces energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn energy. Yeah, this person was toxic. Yeah, this indecisive back and forth energy, so super toxic. You know, unpleasant situations over and over again, being dishonest, very lustful, out here sexing, you know, whoever, basically. Now they can't sleep at night. They think about this, you know. They suffer in silence. They try to make you seem like you were overreacting when no, your intuition was right on point. It was right on point. Sure was. You lost long-term vision with this person when you found out who they really were. You really started focusing even more on your bag, even though you never stopped. It's like you really seen this person for being who they were. Like, ruthless, double life energy, you know? Then they come back, return, and want to reunite. Like, just toxic. This is a very poor performer, you know? Lack of teamwork. That type of energy. You know, now this person's praying on your downfall, hoping you don't meet nobody better than them. And it's going to happen, for sure. Yeah, I told you. I told y'all. Listen. Listen to your girl. Somebody going to come running back. Do you hear me? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They want to apologize because you are divine. This person knows that. This is the reason why they're coming back. To try to kiss your ass and start over. Yeah. Well, you know what? Well, focus on your business, you know? See the big picture in this situation. It's like, you know, it's not saying that people cannot change. But all I'm saying, keep in mind who you're dealing with, you know? Like, just always know who you dealing with, you know? But I will tell you, this person's sick of their other options because they shitty. <laughs> they got a bunch of shitty options, guys, okay? Let's pull a couple more messages. Come on, what else we got for tourist spirit? Two more cards. Earth goddess. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Mermaid soul. Okay. So mermaids could be sufficient. I know y'all rocking with mermaid palace tarot. Yes. You got the mermaid card here. Mermaid soul. Yes. Love is not blind. It only sees what matters. So this person may have judged you by your material wealth, what you had, what you didn't have, you know. They judge you for the wrong things. And now it's like they're missing an opportunity with an earth goddess. Because at this point, you 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 don't understand this person, you know. And you love exactly who you are, right? You help this person see things in themselves that they never saw by themselves. How about that? Nobody's comparing with your energy, Taurus. All right. Those are the messages that I have for you. That's about it. Um, if this resonates with you or if you like this reading, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.